I'm Allison. Um, John and I have been married for 19 years, and we have three children, and have been living at Las Vegas for 20 years. Emily and AJ have afibrinogenemia, which is a factor one deficiency. It's very rare. It's a one in a million diagnosis. It means that when I was born that I was missing a factor in my blood, which causes my blood to not clot as fast as everybody else's. AJ is five and he has the same bleeding disorder as me and we go through our infusions at the same time and it's kind of just like a bond that we share. Emily is a normal kid. She's 13, she's a typical teenager, so she likes to hang out with her friends and be able to go and do things with um, the church group. She goes to hemophilia camp. She's very active, things that honestly, 13 years ago, we were in a position to think that she would never do. When Emily was born, we did not have any indication that she could have a bleeding disorder. It took about eight weeks to get the correct diagnosis for Emily. She would bruise very easily. It wasn't caused by trauma or falling or anything like that. It was repetitive everyday things. Um, the five-point harness in the car seat, um, straps in the stroller, straps in the high chair, uh, would leave marks on her chest. If you picked her up too frequently under her armpits, she would have handprint bruises under her arms. Um, at the time, there wasn't a single factor product available in the United States. The entire process, it did take about two years. We were able to get a supply sent over to us to start treating her here. And the change in her was phenomenal. I mean, after the very, very first dose, we brought her home that afternoon and she was at the park with her sister running around. We did bring Emily with us. We thought that that was important, that they, they saw her, that um, we showed them that this is, this is what we've done, this is what is done for our daughter, and there are other patients out there that can benefit from it. My dreams for the future are to meet all the people that have the same bleeding disorder as me so we can stay in contact and learn about their stories about what they've gone through too. With everything we went through with her as a small child, as a toddler, we didn't ever think we would get to this point without having access to treatment that was readily available. I love how my mom is caring towards us. What matters to her is us, of what we go through. Having access to treatment has changed her life and has given her that future that we had hoped for. Mm -hmm.